HMV and Blockbuster, two giants of British retail over several decades, have recently called in the administrators, putting thousands of jobs at risk and creating further holes in already decimated high streets up and down the country. I'm Gareth Spencer, Managing Director at Discromatics. Discromatics has been supplying all sorts of media products since its inception in 1989 when floppy disks were commonplace and just as CDs were breaking into the mainstream market. Since day one, we've been tracking the meteorite rise and recent fall in the demand for physical CDs and DVDs and therefore we're well placed to comment on the current situation and offer a considered prediction for the future. But why should much loved brands such as these end up in such dire straits? Is the so-called global economic crisis solely to blame? Or are they victims of changing tastes and shopping habits of the British people? Is this, for example, the tip of the iceberg for physical media, the visible signs of the death knell for the CD and DVD market, which began sounding when Apple iTunes was launched in 2003? High street sales have fallen dramatically in virtually every sector as the recession has taken hold. A couple with these economic pressures is the fact that nearly every retailer without exception now has an online presence with some established brands turning into internet-only operations and others never having had a physical shopfront in the first place. The internet has created a nation of convenient shoppers, browsing and buying at any time they fancy, day or night. This buying pattern is certainly true in both the purchase and rental markets for CDs and DVDs, with the international retail giant Amazon the major player in both, having purchased DVD rental company Love Film in 2011. Whilst volumes of physical media sales have certainly diminished greatly over the past decade due to competition from streaming and downloading sites, not to mention piracy, there is nevertheless a good deal of residual popularity for physical media formats and particularly the CD. The rate of decline of physical CD sales now seems to be easing and even an outdated technology like vinyl is enjoying a resurgence in popularity, possibly due to nostalgia. Since CD was the main format for music and software for over 20 years, it continues to enjoy success to this day and also thanks to regular releases of new titles plus the establishment of second-hand retailers like Music Magpie. Paradoxically, the DVD enjoyed a dominant position for far less time, before high-definition Blu-ray discs capable of holding 3D films came into the marketplace. Therefore, DVD sales are predicted to continue falling into the future. I spoke to a variety of people from different backgrounds across the world of media to get their views and find out how they think the industry will be affected. By no means, uh Am I thinking that it's you know good news for the industry? Um, it's a sad reflection on on the state of play for the industry to um, hear of the troubles that HMV are in. I think it's been on the cards for a while. Uh, in fact, I know it's been on the cards for a while because as a company, we were asked to sign off the stock about 12 months ago. Uh, we signed a disclaimer to say that we wouldn't claim against against them for the stock. I don't really think the administration of HMV or Blockbuster is really going to affect me now. I think a few years ago it might have because. I used to buy music and DVDs on a weekly basis, but now it's just so much easier from the comfort of your own home. With things like Netflix now, I can watch an unlimited amount of films, series, for about six pounds a month, and I'd usually be spending that a week in HMV. I don't know, I can see it, I can read the booklet, I can, I can find out information, I can find out who the band is. I listen to a download, I don't know who's playing the guitar, I don't know who's playing the flute or, or whatever, or the backing singers. Uh, and I just, I like to know what's inside, what's, what's going on. And I like to see the pictures and I like to see the information and uh, what's being created. Uh, I always remember certain records that I bought. I remember vividly taking them home and the first time I played them, you know, and put them on the, the record player and read the, the lyrics at the same time the song was playing and read the Steve notes and everything. Um, these days, kids just put it on and in the background while they're playing the Xbox, you know. It's, it's not quite, it's, you know, the experience is not quite the same, but Life goes on, life moves on and, um, you know, we didn't have Xboxes when we were kids either. So despite the fact that CDs and DVDs are no more portable, no more secure from damage or loss and certainly no easier to store, they still enjoy a reasonable share of the media market. Customers often point to the extra dimensions physical products offer, such as the artwork and special print effects used on booklets and discs, the discovery of the lyrics to a song or the understanding of the artist through a visual form. With DVDs, I try and buy DVDs from stores, but I buy most of my music on iTunes, so I don't actually have any physical CDs anymore. It's far better to have something tactile. You feel as though you've got more value for money as well, because you've actually got something in your hand. I think the beauty of uh, music is having something in your hand and have, you know, being able to put it in the, into the CD player, or record player even, uh, and play it, and enjoy it for the actual uh, physical form. 
Whilst the majority of people seem to agree that physical discs can offer an extra dimension to the user's experience, they appreciate the benefits of portable and instant media and understand that further change is inevitable. People will be content with a download and it's the cheapest way for a record company to get an album out there. There's no physical copies. Um, but surely there will always be some physical copies. There'll just be less of them, maybe, I don't know. Or maybe places like Tesco's will suddenly grow and become more important. I think in a way it might be a positive thing that stores such as HMV and Blockbuster are closing because a lot of this clientele might go to the smaller shops and you know there might be a big boom in business and it might it might encourage the high street then maybe to reinvent themselves and think more about the personal experience and the customer. I think my son's missing out a little bit from, from not having physical CDs um, but then again like I said you, you can't miss what you never had and when he has, does have physical CDs he doesn't seem to see the value of them because the first thing he does is put transfers onto his iPad, onto his iPhone and onto his computer and then gives the CD to me, you know, whether I want it or not. Everything now is just disposable and, you know, you want a song, it's only 79p for a song or whatever, or 99p, but we're going to have it now and that is amazing, but kind of sad as well. Vinyl is synonymous with, um, you know, people taking time out, not being on the move. Um, and, and the quality is better, but then at the same time, you know, if they come with a download, then people have, have the convenience. I'm very aware that the quality of LPs and CDs are better sound-wise. I can hear that myself, but I'm willing to compromise with an MP3 because it's portable, it's fast, I can take it out with me. And this is not me being blasé, but I do really enjoy music. I consider myself a fan, but sometimes easier is best. Overall, whilst it is clear that sales of physical media are markedly lower than 15 years ago during the heyday of the CD, there is still strong demand in certain markets. At Discromatics, we have seen this manifest itself in lower order volumes from customers across all sectors – music, software and film. So what next for physical discs? Will the decline continue, or can we expect a stabilisation in demand from traditionalists, or even a slight growth in the market? Only time will tell. <laughs>